position of payments, right? If you want to know how to increase the wages of low-paid workers, of low-paid people, Mark Coleman is not the man to listen to. Neither is Lord Freud. These are, these are the people who are impoverishing, they're impoverishing claimants. Mark Coleman stole 130 million pounds from benefit claimants who were illegally sanctioned. He called them, and he said that if we return the money that we sanctioned to claimants, he said that this would be an undeserved windfall for claimants. Does he know how little claimants are forced to live on an undeserved windfall? Mark Coleman is the one who's got an undeserved windfall. These are the people who are stealing from the most poor and vulnerable people. We will not tolerate this. Benefit claimants will not tolerate you stealing our money. You stole 130 million pounds from the poorest people. 130 million pounds from benefit claimants. Right. Anybody else who wants to interrupt? Anybody else? Anybody? Good. So there's a There's been a 400,000 uh, increase in people in work. Over 90% of the Oh, it's not worth it. Stay in one year. Stay in one year. This is a new idea, so there's limited evidence of what works. Sorry, um, <laughs> what's going to happen about the Strivers and Skyvers narrative and the Saints and Scroungers if we just... What? Sorry, no, the only reason he's speaking is because he will not be content until welfare reform has led to literally the abolition of welfare. I know you're here to hear the minister speak, and you're here to hear the minister speak towards that. I'd like to stay and I'd like to stop this man furthering his disgusting ideas which harm claimants. In work conditionality is your speak for ruining people's Absolutely lives. Absolutely shocking behaviour, what's going on in here. That you can have an industry event where you can have your own language, where you rebrand the way that you ruin people's lives, where you take no responsibility for the people who you've driven into destitution. And we can come to your meeting. You're not going to come, madam, because you're only interested in the abolition of welfare and the way you can make money out of the unemployed. There's no money to be made for the unemployed. And there's no money to be made for the underemployed, but what these people want to do is just make poor people's lives even more of a misery. And it's not acceptable. No. No. These people, what is happening here? Introducing sanctions, work there, and conditionality. In work, they are being underpaid, and because they're being paid such low wages, you want to force them into more low-paid work. Work that doesn't even exist because of the workfare you've introduced, which is replacing vacancies throughout the job market. We've got an undeserved windfall. We've got an undeserved windfall. Who got robbed? We got robbed. <laughs>